Hey folks, Jiwo here, and we're back with some more Let's Play Landstalker, the Treasures of King Knoll for the Sega Genesis. In our last area, we got this awesome new ring, the Venus Stone, which replenishes our sword meter three times as fast. So originally, if you don't have any rings, it'll take eight seconds to fully charge your sword meter. But now that we have the Venus Stone, it replenishes in two seconds. So if you do the math, three times as fast. Yep, yep. Alright, so here's an area where we fight a little mini-boss. Um, yeah, it's just this flame guardian. Oh, jeez, is he just is totally pelting me with fireballs? Oh, yeah, in our last episode, we also got this fancy Sword of Gia, which, which is pretty awesome, because when it's fully charged, it allows us to... Oh, jeez, this guy's busting my balls. Let's wait for it to charge. And I'll hit you with it. <laughs> when it's fully charged, it has the effect of using a uh, statue of Gia. So, that's yeah, pretty epic. I mean, now you can just sit back and just hit him. That's right, keep warping in front of me. You're, you're going down, buddy. Maybe I'll just fully charge this again, and BAM! Just can't wait till he's dead. This is freaking annoying. <laughs> it's like I'm not gonna lie. A lot of these bosses in this area are really tough, and we beat them. And for our reward, we get the Gola's nail. <laughs> awesome. And now, if you head back to this warp, this is, remember that Pitchfork Road that we saw a couple episodes ago? Well, this warp's gonna take you back to Mercator. So. If you need to replenish, go ahead and start doing that. So for every single mini boss you beat in this in this labyrinth, you're gonna get a warp back to that area. So that's pretty useful too. Wait, am I? What boots do I have equipped? Okay, my healing boots. Cause I like to heal while I walk. So now we're gonna backtrack all the way. Oops. Back to where we were beforehand. <laughs> Okay, and now we are hunting for a new pair of boots. It's funny, all the items you're missing, you just get right at the end of the game. You know, speaking of the end of the game, let's see what the Oracle, Oracle Stone has to say about how far we've progressed through the game. You have finished 89% of this island, spoke the Oracle Stone. Ooh, very nice. Oops, let's use another lantern. Okay, now that we're here, um... I think we go down the middle now? Wait, actually... Okay, this room, there's a priest in it. Okay, so that's what it was. <laughs> I remember it now. So now we have to f press all these fancy switches. So there's the record book that we need. But where are the switches? Let's see. Heading over here, I'm not seeing anything. See, I hate these mazes, man. It's like... It's Inception. You gotta create a maze that'll keep you occupied for exactly two minutes. <laughs> oh, there's a chest. Let's see what's in it. Oh, you know, I could just slash the chest and make that statue go off. Oh, I don't need any Iki, Iki right now. There's the button we need to stand on. Charge! Cool. Now after that switch, we gotta find another switch. Seriously, I'm just doing all this just to get that record book so I can save my game. 
Now where is this switch? Oh, there it is. Wait, can I go around this way? No. Ah. Bloop. Step on that one, and then I think this is the last one. No, that's actually a fake switch. Freaking fake switches. It's over here, I think. There's a random crate. There we go, we got it. So now I can pick that up and save my game, which took me like a good two minutes to finish that puzzle. It's record book! You gotta love these dead priests and the way they talk. It's record book. Save game. Continue. May I keep your record? I got it. <laughs> it's over. Still go on? Of course. Good luck. May Goddess bless you. Okay, now that we're finished with this area, we can actually get out of this. Gosh. And now, last but not least, we put this crate on the left button, which allows us to go back out this way. And again, you're going to want to hop over those blue squares, because you don't want that block appearing and blocking your way, because then you just got to backtrack, blah blah blah. Okay, so now that we finished that side, we're going to head over here and get some fancy new boots! I want my boots! Yeah, Statue of Gear effect. That's right, you lizard man. I'd like to see you beat me now with my uber awesome equips. <laughs> Let's hop in and we keep going, keep going. Now, okay, this part is gonna be really trippy, okay? See all these hands? Well, it's not like you're going to eventually fall until you land on some... Well, yeah, that's pretty much how it is, but you just fall in this endless, endless stream, just continuously passing all these... the same screens over and over again. So, anyway, so some things you need to grab here are, are a livestock and those boots. Did you guys see those boots? There they are. Oh man. Just a little bit more to the left. There it is, our fancy new boots, the snow spikes, which allow us to walk on the ice now. So that's about that's about all we need to get here. So now what you're going to want to do is fall and make your way to the top left corner of the screen, which I just fell past. Let's see if I can land on it this time. There we go. Now this... Uh, was it this room or was it the next one? this one it's freaking annoying because what you're supposed to do is get the spikes to fall at exactly the same time so let's see this okay got those three there we go that should open it up wow that wasn't so bad the first time I did it it gave me a lot of trouble <laughs> Oh yeah, love this new sword, man. It just saved me so much time. Okay, so now we're back. Back in this platform room. You know what? I'm actually flying through this area. So just bypass all that. And here we go, we equip our snow boot. Watch, I'll show you what happens if you try and cross this ice without the snow boots. It just automatically turns you around. But once you equip your so s snow spikes, well, I gotta get that right, you can actually walk across the, the ice. So, um, let's fall down this pit. You need a raft. If you want to go down the river, find my son and get some logs. So, yeah, remember that, that gnome that was blocking the tree? That's where we need to go. So, we got some more backtracking to do. I think it was over here. I hope it was. I don't want to go. <sighs> Put our healing boots back on.
Yeah, okay. Boink. Yeah, get out of our way. Destroy all the spikes in the room. Cause you're the most beautiful slime in the room. <laughs> in the whole wide room. Ooh. And, you know, I don't think I was supposed to be here yet. Dude, where's that room again? Like, I'm seriously lost again. Is this bottom right one? I hope it's the bottom right one. Yeah, it's the bottom right one. Cause you're the most beautiful slime in the room. <laughs> I love that song by the Flight of the Concords. <laughs> you met my father, right? In that case, go on up and cut the tree. Go on up, cut the tree, and make a raft. Dude, we're almost finished with this labyrinth. You know, the first time I went through this area, it must—I it, seriously must have taken two hours to, to do the, all of this. Found some logs, awesome, and we found some more logs, coolness. So now we backtrack our way back to the other gnome. Ooh, <clears throat> it's a lot of backtracking, huh? I wish we could grow more trees underground. That'd be pretty awesome. Da -da 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 -da. Seriously, this music, man, just gets to you. It's like can't help but not sing it. Oh, destroy slimes. <laughs> oh, I fell. Oh man, now I need to kill all these. See, this is the ghost generator, which I was, or what I was talking about. So this is why you don't want to fall down, because these things are just going to continuously just spawn on you and drain away your health while you're trying... And you gotta try and get the right angle on that generator. There we go. So now that we have finally destroyed all of them, we can finally walk up and out of here. So what? How I get out is I just hop on top of the spikes and hop over. That—that's the Jiwo way, the brute way to do things. Okay, so let's equip our snow spikes again. And do a little penguin slide across. Just kidding. Okay, so let's equip these healing boots again. He's like, hey, you can go ahead with the logs. Good luck, man. Cool, good luck. Oh, so now you gotta use these logs to make a raft. So, wow, this is wild. Where are we going, Nigel? I don't know. Ask the raft. <laughs> what a smart Alec. Whoa, we're falling. And we get an Iki Iki, so might as well use one. <laughs> okay, let's do that. Okay, and there's another Iki Iki and a statue of Gia. Okay, um, I guess I'll have to... You know what, we have to... We're about to fight a little mini-boss right here, so... I'm probably gonna need a lot more time than just a minute. So, I will see you all next time. Hope you enjoyed this episode. Jiwo out.